Consumables are part of the print process that will need to be replaced throughout the life of your printer. The resin tank, the build platform, and resin cartridges. Some consumables have a long lifetime and others are exhausted more quickly. To begin, we have the build platform. All printer packages will come with either the standard Form 4 build platform or the standard Form 4L build platform. The build platform has a machined aluminum surface which allows the printing process to adhere your parts to the build platform. The surface of the platform will be smooth when it's unboxed. As you use the provided tools to remove your prints from the build platform, scrapes and scuffs accumulate on the surface. This is expected behavior and can help your parts adhere more strongly. Over time, those scrapes and gouges may become too deep and cause prints to over adhere to the build platform, making them very difficult to remove. This is the point at which you should replace your build platform or perform sanding maintenance. You can also consider the build platform flex as an option for quick release parts. Build Platform Flex is built with a gouge-free stainless steel print surface ensuring robust long-term durability. Fully wipe down the print surface and sides of your build platform using a paper towel and isopropyl alcohol whenever you change resin types or place your build platform in storage outside of the printer. For the Build Platform Flex, make sure you clean underneath the flexible plate. The flexible plate is completely removable, making cleaning easy. Next, we have the resin cartridges. This will be your most frequently replaced consumable. As you print, replace the resin cartridge whenever it has completely emptied its contents. The printer tracks the weight of the cartridge and warns you when it is getting low or has run out so that you can anticipate if there is enough resin for larger prints. Hidden under the label of the resin cartridges is an RFID sticker that the printer uses to detect the cartridge's presence and identify its contents, the resin type, and the version number. On the top, the resin cartridge has a vent cap. This vent cap needs to be opened during printing to allow resin to flow. Close the vent cap when the resin cartridge is in storage to prevent leaks. You can also remove the vent cap to manually pour out resin from the cartridge, such as directly into your resin tank or your chemical disposal stream. On the bottom of the cartridge is the bite valve. This rubber valve has a slit in it to allow resin to dispense when pressed by an arm inside the printer tower. The bite valve should never be removed and the slit should never be cut wider as this could lead to an overflow of resin in the printer. The bottom of the cartridge also has a sticker noting both the manufacturing date and the expiration date of the resin. When the resin reaches its expiration date, we recommend replacing this cartridge with a new one to ensure print quality. Consult the Formlabs support site for how to dispose of expired resin. Lastly, we have the resin tank. The resin tank is the primary container for holding resin after it dispenses from the cartridge. Resin is cured onto the build platform when light passes through the tank's bottom film during printing. Similar to the resin cartridges, tanks are detected using RFID technology. The flexible tank film is part of Formlab's LFD technology for low force release of parts. In order to maintain a clear path for light, never touch the bottom of the resin tank with your bare fingers. Touching the bottom of the tank could leave fingerprints, smudges, or other debris that could interfere with the print process. Only grip the tank by the sides when moving from the printer to a storage space. Tanks can be stored with the resin inside by securing the plastic cover on the top of the tank to block ambient light. This ensures the resin in the tank remains liquid. The exact lifetime of a given tank may vary depending on individual use and wear factors. Inspect your resin tanks monthly. Replace a resin tank as soon as you notice wear, punctures, cuts, wrinkles, or gouges in the film. Repeatedly printing the same model in the same location on your tank can cause the tank film to wear more quickly, so it is important to vary the layout of your prints. Form 4 and Form 4L printers have built-in tank usage monitoring. You can check how many layers, prints, and liters have been printed on a resin tank at any time. When a tank reaches 75,000 layers of printing and is inserted into a printer, the printer prompts you to inspect the tank and consider replacing it. For easy switching between materials, we recommend having a separate tank and optionally a mixer dedicated to each resin type that you use. Mixers can be moved from one tank to another when a resin tank is replaced. If you are reusing the same mixer with multiple resin types, 
fully clean the mixer with a solvent such as IPA or Form Labs resin washing solution and allow the mixer to fully dry before reinserting it when you change to a new resin. Keeping enough consumables on hand will ensure that you can always keep printing. Consider keeping two to three weeks worth of resin in storage and monitoring stock levels regularly.